Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about neutral density filters. More specifically, both B&W and Breakthrough Photography both claim that their filters are color neutral. But is that really the case? And is one more neutral than the other? That's what I set out to find out. So what is a neutral density filter? A neutral density filter is a dark filter that inhibits light from getting into your lens. And why would you want that? Well, if you want to increase your shutter speed to blur motion, like making a waterfall appear silky, you got to decrease the amount of light coming into your lens so you can keep the shutter open longer without overexposing the photo. This is the six stop B&W neutral density filter, and I'm going to move it over and compare it to the breakthrough photography neutral density filter. Now you can see that there's clearly some different technology going on here with the breakthrough photography one being far more reflective. This black line is actually a reflection from my iPhone. But which one is going to be more color or neutral? We'll have to see. I also want to point out as an aside that the B&W has a smooth ring that screws into the lens while the breakthrough photography has grooves cut into the ring that perhaps allows you to have a better grip when screwing the filter onto the lens. So I found this location along the Coos River with these interesting pylons coming out of the water. I think I'll stop here to try to compare the two different neutral density filters. The pylons with the arrows caught my attention for making some photos. I was interested in trying to use a very long shutter speed to give the water a smooth, glassy appearance. So I first put a B&W circular polarizer on my Canon 100 to 400 millimeter lens. I'll talk more about the polarizer in a minute. And then added the B&W six stop neutral density filter on top of that. And this is what I got. I should say that the images I'm using are directly from Lightroom with no adjustments of any sort made to them. As has been my experience in the past, the B&W imparted a fairly strong warm color cast to the photo, particularly since this was a blue sky sort of day. I was shooting in aperture priority and the exposure was 3.2 seconds at f16. So let's look at the exact same shot, but this time instead of the B&W neutral density filter, I'll add the breakthrough photography six stop ND filter to the polarizer. Wow, that's quite a difference. The warm color cast is gone, and this is what the scene actually looked like in terms of color. The breakthrough photography neutral density looks far more color neutral than the B&W. In the meantime, out in the field, I realized that this shot at F16 using aperture priority had a shutter speed of five seconds compared to the 3.2 seconds with the B&W. I tried several times and this difference between the exposures was very reproducible. So that means that either the breakthrough photography filter is actually a little more than six stops or the B&W is a little less or a combination of both, I'm not sure which. But I wondered if the comparison was a fair one since the shutter speeds were different. That's pretty easy to find out. I switched out for the B&W ND filter and made a five second exposure to match the breakthrough photography exposure, which was obviously going to be a bit overexposed for this shot. And I got this. Still quite a warm color cast going on here. So it doesn't look like the length of the exposure made much difference, at least not qualitatively. And then I got to thinking. Is it a fair comparison using a B&W polarizer on all the shots? Could there be some kind of interaction there? I had used the polarizer because I had wanted a very long shutter speed, but I decided to repeat my little experiment without the polarizer, which of course led to shorter exposure times. So let's take a look. Here we are with no polarizer. The B&W neutral density filter is on, and the exposure is one second at f16. And we still have that warm, unnatural color cast. Let's try with the breakthrough photography filter. With the breakthrough photography filter, like before, we get a longer shutter speed, this time 1.6 seconds at f16. 
and you can see how that warm color cast is now gone and the color is much truer to life. For completeness, I tried decreasing the exposure to one second with the Breakthrough Photography filter so that the exposure time would be the same as with the B&W and got this underexposed image which remains true to color and free of that warm cast. After this exercise, there remained no question in my mind that the Breakthrough Photography Neutral Density filters are far more color neutral than the B&Ws. I use neutral density filters quite a lot in my photography, and I've since switched over to the Breakthrough Photography filters after years of using and not being quite happy with the B&W neutral density filters. I do hope you found this video useful, and if you have any questions or comments, or even suggestions about future topics to cover in these videos, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to respond to you. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. I'm Howard and I appreciate your having visited my channel. Until next time. Figure out how it opens. Ah, come on.